That's a huge fish. <laughs>welcome back to another episode of it gets real it's your boy b the flossy fisherman and today we are in san mateo county at san gregorio beach yep first time here and i'm digging the scenery man i'm digging the scenery it's super cool ain't nothing like this fresh coastal breeze i'm back out here trying to get some surf perch Got my dog Kenzie with me today. You know, I'm trying to get him on his first surf perch as well, but I'm trying to break the skunk, man, of getting out here and not being able to close the deal on some surf perch. But I'll be using the usual, the Berkeley Camo sandworms. I uh, also have some deep sea bait co sandworms. And um, I'll be giving them a try, seeing if I could hook up on something with those. And you know, the Calissa Lures, uh, my Lucky Crabs, even brought my Sand Crab Net. So I'm gonna try to use them all, man. And anything that I haven't done on the list of fishing on the surf, I'm trying to scratch that off today. So y'all keep it locked and see if your boy can't hook up on something. Woke up in the morning around six o'clock. Hop up in the whip and hit the bank shot. Gotta make it quick, no time, no way. But I gotta stock up on worms, cook some waste. Pull up to the lake, tryna find a spot. This brain said they biting by the duck. If you ever been fishing, then you know the deal. Sit back, relax, cause man, it gets real. Alright, so the setup for today is a Carolina rig, two ounce egg sinker weight to a bead to a barrel swivel. And we have about three feet of leader line. 20 pound fluorocarbon to a size two bait holder hook. What I'm gonna do is improve clinch knot. Nice strong knot right there. Got your tag in, good to go. Oh, you see it, man. I got my dog, Kenzie out here, Kato. Trying to get him on his first surf perch gotta get up on my first surf perch you already know it gets really been real we out here yeah well, once you I feel like he's on him. yeah just boom try to pull back on him to set the hook too. for sure check your bait because this is a soft bait they could chew it up like they did mine Chew off your tail just like that. But that's a good sign. You're getting bit, getting bites out here. Let's see if you chewed up, man. How much you got left? Oh yeah, they chomped you. <laughs> they chomped you. You ain't got no tail on there. <laughs> I need to bait. Yeah, we need a rebait. Got a bite, y'all. Come on, come on. And kind of close. We out here high tide. right past the first little breaker. There's a hole somewhere deep up in here. Between this first breaker that starts right there and the one that's out there. So I'm getting bit somewhere in the middle of it. Right in that hole. Oh, whoa. Y'all see that? Chances is the way they bit that, I don't have no bait. They tore that up. Yeah, barely a little piece left. Dang. All right, I'm gonna bust out some of these deep sea bait co uh, motor oil sandworms. Trying to get on these surf perch, man. I think these are actually a lot, you know, more firm than the Berkeley gulp sandworms. You know, the Berkeley sandworms, they're a little soft unless you let them dry out because of the whatever juice they got in there, that extra scent. 
But yeah, they won't bite these off. These seem like a lot tougher. But what I am gonna do is dip it in some of that sauce. So whatever sauce these uh, Berkeley goat worms have, you know, I think it's an attractant. Cause it, it, it does stink, man. Whatever juice is up in here, it stinks. I'm gonna let the deep sea bay code get a little bit of that scent. Send it on out there. Yeah, boy. Out here with my dog, Kenzie, man. Trying to get him on his first surf perch. Reel it, reel it, reel it. Reel it. Oh, it's off? Oh, damn. And the fish was still in the water, but you can see the fish. It was a little one, but still. I don't understand how I'm supposed to get him. Just, just real though, you know? That's not like, like, like pull back once, but not just keep jerking. Don't keep jerking. Pull back and then reel, but keep that tension on them. So if you got to walk them back, walk them back. Right. Yo. I seen it. I thought he was still on your line, though. <laughs> I seen this fish. It was small, but I still. we on. Don't feel like a big guy, but come on, don't let him, don't let him get him, don't let him get him. Yittery. Yeah, deep sea bait cold, man. Hey, no skunk, no skunk, man, no skunk. You know, redemption. Let's have some nipple. Ooh, ooh. Let's have some nibbles over there. Come on with it. Come back for it. Oh, oh. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Seaweed on my line, but I was getting. Getting some taps out there. Feel, feel, no. Oh, oh, he got off. <laughs> ah! Real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Keep that bendo on him. Keep that pressure. Oh, you got all that seaweed. Hold up, you're not gonna be able to get it with that seaweed. Hold this real quick. There's a fish under this. Hopefully. Lost them. All this seaweed. But this break cut right through it. It's a good thing about this braid. Just chop right through this stuff. Pow! Damn! No, that's hella big. But I seen, I seen your, your real pumping though. Hot dog got one, man. He got him a surf purse, bruh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right where the end of my rod tip is pointing. Right up over there, there's a little hole. But I am liking these deep sea bait co worms because, like I said, they're a little bit tougher than the gulp sand worms. No pieces are missing off of these when they get bit. So, one worm has just basically been la landed two fish when uh, with the Berkeley gulps, man. that. 
one fish and it's thrashed. Got him. Spotting, getting, got him. Oh, he popped off? You gotta be kidding me. Dang, millions of sand crabs. Oh man, I might have to switch it up. It's time to scratch one of those things off of my to-do list and that's to catch a surf perch off of a sand crab. Got my net, about to go scoop him up because I just seen a bunch of them out there. Look at that there, y'all. Man. One scoop. There you go. Yo! <laughs> never seen so many of them <laughs> The sand crab on. Soft shell. Let's go. Woo! This boy just hitting them. Boy, Kenzie on him. Get him. So when I typically fish for a surf perch, I just try to find the holes out there, cast and reel in real slow, back over that hole, and um, you get bites. Yo! <laughs> Crab! <laughs> Crazy! <laughs> wow! Crazy, wasn't even crab snaring. Man, the rock formations over here are so crazy. Dope though. Hella dope scenery. San Gregorio. All right, y'all, so the wind picked up. It started getting real cold out here um, in the t transition of the tides. Started getting a lot of uh, seaweed and debris on our lines, making it that much harder to catch fish. But, hey man, the goal today was to get my dog Kenzie on some, his first surf perch, and he did that. You know, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and he did that, man. Nice and tasty, man. Can't wait to sizzle it up. <laughs> yes, sir. So, man, we gonna get on up out of here, though. But till the next one, y'all be cool. Y'all be blessed. Peace. It's your boy B, the Flossy Fisherman, and today we are in San Mateo County at San Gregorio. Is it Grand Gregorio? San Gregorio.